Welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is a collective reading for whoever's meant to watch this. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thank you for all of your support. The first card here is the Ten of Swords. There's an ending to something painful. Something that is just not for your highest good. It's over is what I'm getting here with the Ten of Swords. The path is clear. There's an ending to a psychic attack. You could be dealing with Gemini Libra Aquarius or Cancer. Someone who's coming towards you to cause an imbalance with the Two of Pentacles. You sent a reversal here. These two cards are here. You could have been dealing with a Scorpio or you have a strong water placement. But I feel like there's an ending to some type of negative energy that someone was trying to send to you. Because with the Ten of Cups here, you have a lot of family here and friends, spiritual energies that are protecting you. This could have been a Taurus Virgo Capricorn who was jealous, sending you the evil eye in secret at a distance. For the Aries Leo Sagittarius, these are the energies or the signs that I'm picking up. It could be your placement or theirs or somewhere in their natal chart or yours, vice versa. If someone at a distance was sending you the evil eye, they're not being truthful with the Seven of Swords. More Gemini Libra Aries. Okay, Aries. So maybe there's an Aries around that you didn't know was toxic or negative. But with the Two of Wands here... I feel like you had a choice and this person was trying to get you to come back to them to want to heal the connection. But all they're trying to do is like pour out your abundance. They're trying to block your blessings here. More um, Gemini energy here with the lovers and the nine of wands. So this could be a fire sign or an air sign or this is you. Take what resonates. Someone was upset that you chose somebody else and you left or you let go of the toxic person. You chose your happiness is what I'm seeing here. And this person is psychically sending you messages in spirit and dreams and it's negative energy here with the devil capricorn energy and the four of cups they're trying to make sure that you never have love they don't want you to be happy because if they can have you they don't want you to be with anybody else they're trying to control your relationships your happiness you're fully aware with the hangman they want to keep you stuck they're getting readings about you and they're sending you negative energy so you have to cleanse your space with the eight of swords they're definitely sending you psychic attacks to cause an imbalance in your work your friendships your relationships here they don't want you to have any type of stability they want you to go down the rabbit hole and get lost and lose your focus basically is what i'm seeing here with this particular king of wands this person only wanted you for sex or they're very much just in this energy of sexual energy they want to be with you intimately maybe you slept with this person and they missed that or they didn't get a chance to sleep with you and they want to and they're They've become obsessed. They're draining your solar plexus energy with the emperor. They don't want you to be on top. They're upset that you are fighting for your happiness here with the star Aquarius. They did some work or spiritual work here with the ace of swords to block your blessings, to make sure that you did not go ahead in life, that you don't have that job, that you don't have that position, that you don't get that leadership role that you do not get your true love that you do not have success in your finances like they're trying to block everything left and right all of your blessings are trying to block it they're speaking out negatively against it so it can be at a distance so that way when you try to reach for it it doesn't come through for you but it's not going to work here with ace of swords archangel michael is protecting you you have a crown chakra awakening or a really strong connection to spirit to your spiritual team and here with the swords it's like you already know the truth about this person with the Four of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune, you're protected, your home is protected, you have stability, your relationships, you have a lot of prosperity here, abundance with the Wheel of Fortune. It's like the cycle is over and this person is very hateful. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn coming through. They're upset that you've planted a seed with your job, your career, whatever you're doing, 333 is going to be successful with Ace of Pentacles. This person knows you're destined for happiness and they're trying to cause a delay or ruin your happiness with your finances they don't want you to come into this type of increase in money or finances of business whatever you're doing they don't want you to be successful with your money i'm getting a lot of goosebumps which means that is very true this person does not want you to be successful maybe this person doesn't have money and you do so they're trying to take that from you they're trying to block it this person is very hateful with the tower and the page of wands expect a message from this person they may be wanting to talk to you um telepathically in spirit their higher self through dreams is what I'm getting, or they could literally approach you and you're intuitively picking up on this energy that you like foresee it here. I feel like this is you. Be very much aware that this person is slowly but steady trying to come back into your life or they want to talk to you. They want to apologize here with the cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy because of the three of swords and the nine of cups. They are still very much in this energy of wanting to make you feel bad for them or wanting to make you feel heartbroken about what happened. They are using... Sorry guys, my video cut off. I was saying that they don't want 
They're using Venus retrograde to get you to think of them in a positive way. They don't want you to move on. They don't want you to be happy on their own. They want you to feel burdened or feel lonely so that they can come back to you so that you can ask them to move in. This person could literally be homeless and they have nowhere to go so they want you to miss them so that they can come back and live with you where they want you to like help them out somehow, some way financially. This person is only interested in you for what they can take from you. For like they're selfish like whatever they can take is what they want like what's in it for me is basically what i'm hearing about this person and with the 11 here justice this person is getting karma with the six of swords i asked what is crowning this reading and it's the six of swords get away from this person as much as you can you know this person is coming towards you for some you could have children you don't have to but i feel like your higher self is very much aware that this person is looking for you and you're moving in the opposite direction you could have a friend or be in a relationship where you have a family member someone close to you that is guiding you away from this person because you know that they're nothing but trouble is what i'm hearing at the bottom of the deck you have the ace of cups so i feel like in the past this person had a chance to love you but with the eight of cups they left you for that better shinier thing and now they have regrets 111 and with the knight of swords here it's like this person wants to come back because they've gone within they've done a reading they got some type of intuitive knowing this person is gifted as well or spiritual and because of that they know that you're gonna have some money and they want a piece of that money and now they have regrets that they're at a distance from you because they're not getting a piece of the pie here with the four pentacles this person only has four pentacles and you have this you know king of pentacles so it's like this person feels really bad i'm also getting that when you were around them you were their lucky charm and they were able to manifest or they siphoned your energy and they were able to take your blessings but because you're at a distance from them it's like you claimed back your blessings you claim back your energy your blessings your abundance and you're no longer tied to them so now they're getting the karma that they deserve and they're really sad and that's why they want to come back with this fox energy to message you with the knight of wands it's like very much shapeshifter type of energy they want to come back with you because they want money but with the 20 here of judgment it's like the universe is saying no this person's gonna have a hollow victory with the five of swords all they can do is daydream about you and think of you all the time because they feel like you're their person but i don't think you are you have someone else here with the five of the hierophant it's like you have a different soul connection and this very much well with the ace of swords here it's like truth about love at the cups it's like you knew that this person could have been someone very special towards you initially, but they rejected you for someone who looked prettier, who was more shinier, glittery, like the better, shinier thing. They thought that grass was greener on the other side. It wasn't. Now they have regrets because they chose a karmic over you. And you're the true divine feminine. Take what resonates. You're the divine energy. And they thought that the other person was. The other person was feeding them lies. They didn't trust their intuition. And now they realize that it's basically over i'm hearing there's dead silence there's nothing left to say this person breached the contract when they chose to treat you like shit when they chose to walk away from this connection it's over you have someone new this person is pissed i'm hearing i'm livid they're mad they're like look at this they're so pissed off that you have somebody else that the universe blessed you with another past life karmic the triple moon goddess is blessing you with another true love here because the cycle with this other person that you thought was your divine counterpart or they thought like they barely discovered that you were actually soulmate material twin flame whatever soul tie but it's over because this person was over here looking at the shinier thing they didn't listen to their intuition this person was very foolish and now they're kind of just this person could literally be thinking about you so much that they are not mentally stable right now and the universe is guiding you and protecting you. You have Horus or Ra. You have a, a spiritual ancestor. You have some type of spirit animal guiding you to the right path with the right people with the Six of Pentacles. You have healed with the purple. Some of you guys like lavender. But it's like you're moving on. You're no longer in this Nine of Wands energy wounded warrior because it's reversed. You blocked this person out and you're trusting your intuition. You left this Taurus Virgo Capricorn or whoever was only with you for money is what I'm getting. You left them out in the cold. And with the Four of Swords, you are healing. And because of that, now you have someone else who's definitely interested in you. This person um, is very much attracted to you. In every way, shape, and form, they're very passionate, they're very dedicated to you. And then you have this negative energy over here, 444, as I say that, that is watching you. 
with the owl. This person is intuitive, but they're using their energy. I'm hearing dark magic. They're using it in a bad way. With Yeah, they spy on you here with the Page of Swords. They're gifted and they're intuitive even here. You could have a Leo placement as well. They're trying to stop your person from coming into union with you to cause confusion. They could be throwing other people in your life to, for you to not know who the right one is. But with the Ace of Wands and the Moon card, this person could have done sex magic in secret to try to get you to come back to them to be their friend so that they could take your money, your happiness. This person is only interested in you for money. Whoever this ex is, they only want you for money. So be mindful of that, Collective. If this is your reading, this person is only going to use you. They want what you have. They want a piece of that pie. And they're doing some type of like binding spells, come to me spells. They're doing blood work. They're making a lot of comments on your name. Call on Archangel Michael to protect your space always collective because my cards just moved by itself. So I feel like this person could be trying to invade your space, but you have your angels, your guides, your spiritual team, 555. Positive changes are coming through your spiritual army is protecting you in every way, shape, and form, and they're protecting this reading as well so that the message gets out to the right people because you guys are protected by the most high, by positive energies, high vibrational energies of love and light. I'm getting a lot of goosebumps. You have angels, you have ancestors, you have past loved ones, you have guides, you have fairies. You have a lot of energies all around you and they love you very much and they want you to know that you are meant to be abundant and they're not going to allow anyone to mess with your love, your light, your blessings because that's your birthright. Nobody can take what is yours is what I'm getting. Work with Dalmatian I'm hearing Jasper or Obsidian, Snowflake Obsidian, because you guys need to continue to raise your vibrations and be that beautiful light worker that you are, because there's a lot of spiritual abundance and it's meant for you, not for this person who's trying to seduce you, who's trying to get you to come back to them, saying they changed when all they did was hurt you so many times. Do not be fooled with this Venus retrograde, especially Libras and Tauruses, because Venus, you guys rule the planet of venus so be mindful 707 trust your intuition go within and know the truth that whoever hurt you they are only going to try to play mind games to get you to miss them and think of the good in them and not remember all the bad things that they did to you so don't let this person fool you in any way shape or form because all they're doing is trying to be in your energy because they want your blessings they want your money they want something material-wise. This person is all about money, name brands, looking good, smelling good. And right now, they're like a piece of shit. And they don't have anything because they only had that when you were with them. Because you got the Midas touch. You're the lucky one. You're the blessed one. And this person is not in your energy anymore because all they did was cause an imbalance to your lower chakras. They did not treat you right. And for that reason... Divine intervention is here to block this person in every way, shape, and form because they are not allowed to take advantage of you anymore. They missed out, they chose wrong, and that is their karma, and you are truly blessed. So that's what I have for you. I send you many blessings. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tap on the bell so you get all my updated videos. If you want a personal reading, the info is in the description below. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and all the donations. I send you many blessings, and happy holidays. Bye, guys.